Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This question comes from Ted Lewis, KE8RQA, and he's trying to reach Norway and northern Russia from his house in Ohio. He would like to know how to accurately aim a directional antenna. Well, let's first of all take a look at the problem. <clears throat> Okay, he's here, and he's trying to reach here. Now, the shortest path, or the direction of the shortest path, okay, is this direction right here on a globe. Now, you could get a string out, and then you could measure the angle from where you are to that place right there. There's a lot easier method. Let me show you what that is. That is what is called an azimuthal map. And this is the weirdest thing you've ever seen, isn't it? This is an azimuthal map with the center at my location. And so if I want to hit Norway and northern Russia, okay, I can see that my antenna would have to be directed along this direction because this is a very distorted Russia, an extremely distorted Africa, uh, South America is not too bad. Antarctica, here's Austra uh, Australia. It's odd that I would aim due west to get to Australia. And uh, I reprinted it just so I could see in the United States where I would direct my antenna. Now, my antenna is not quite calibrated right. So I've put out here the actual numbers that I would point the thing to. This over here is the controller for my high gain rotator and um, uh, it tells me the number of degrees 242 so I'd look up 242 and I would see that that is a signal going up in that direction 242 uh, based on the way the antenna is calibrated would be exactly what you're looking for right there now how do you get that map? Answer is right here. Map is done by N S six T. Okay, let's go to that address on the web. N S six T dot net. And uh, here he has his uh, free azimuthal maps right here okay so you click on that and you put in a location and the location is your grid square lat long see it tells you that there's a number of ways that you can put it in all right uh, I'm gonna put in my grid square uh, DM 68 CG okay and I'm not gonna put a distance in there so it's gonna go the max distance and here I have that map, okay, with my QTH in the center and all the other parts of the earth around me arranged according to the azimuth that I would transmit to. So, for example, if I'm trying to reach central Russia, I would aim due north and go over the poles. If I wanted to reach India, I'd aim just a little bit west and due north. There's India right there. Okay, so you can then, this is a PDF, and you can either download it and save it uh, or just print it, print it from here. Let's see, it's azimuth, azimuth FCGI. So I just print it from here. And you can do this, for example, if most of your contacts are in the United States, let's go to azimuthal map, DM, 68CG, and I'm going to put um, 2,000 miles, or it's probably, I don't know if it's kilometers or miles. We'll see what happens. But now you see what happened. It puts me right in the center, and it tells me the beam location for anywhere that I'm looking for, and it's centered right on my house. 
Now, if you put your house somewhere else, the azimuthal map will look very different. Let's uh, put in a crazy uh, thing here. Let's put in uh, AF um, 25, just for fun, if that's a grid map. Okay, it is a grid map, and it looks like we have, it's from the South Pole. <laughs> so let's see, uh, let's take this out, and we'll go ahead and do that. And we have the entire world from the South Pole. No, no, not quite. Here's Antarctica. This is off the coast of New Zealand. Okay, you can see how the azimuth map looks very different depending on where you are. Okay, so that answers your question, I believe. Go to, to determine which direction to aim your beam, go to N6, NS ns6t.net and create the azimuth map. You'll need to know your grid square or your lat long. And then it will make a map for exactly what you need. If you would like to support this channel financially, and I sure appreciate that, it makes this channel possible. It makes, it, uh, makes me able to pay an assistant and get cameras and things like that. Uh, also to buy equipment to test and also to do things like go out to the Pacificon, Hamfest, and so on. So I encourage you to look at decastlercom slash support and find a way on there that, cert that uh, suits you just right. So until we next meet, 73. <laughs>